Family member of the deceased are still mourning the death of Mrs. Blessing George. The husband of the deceased, Mr. Christian George, said when he went to the police station at Iokogba to officially lay complaint, he was told that a similar case about the prophetess had been reported before. He said up till now, the said prophetess has not been arrested and called on state government to ensure justice for his wife. The town where we go to the pub for a state politician, the woman where handled the case, in fact, they may say, he know the woman. He said this kind of thing happened before. Now so he be he see don't for happen before. Ha. Ah. Now the same woman eh, again. Now I say I don't know other than the woman. Now he follow me go there. He, he go no say now the same woman where this thing happened before. They see it happen so. Now he say he could find the woman. Since that day now, I know he had the reply again. The police, they find her, you know, see the woman. Since that day now, I know if I see that woman, I know if I see in people, we come and say, ah, wait till you happen, wait till you know happen, you know, God ask me, nothing, nothing. I beg, when I help me find the woman, now I help, now me need. I need justice, I beg. The son of the deceased also called for justice and said their late mother was a very supportive pillar to the family. He said his father alone cannot shoulder the responsibility of caring for him and his three siblings. We went to the church with the police that day. We also go to a house that day. We didn't see her too. So since, that, since then, she hasn't been around. I need justice for my mom because I feel like it's not a deal. I let my father and I get to the... I get one sister, two brother to take care of. Nothing, no money, nothing, nothing. As it be like this, everywhere try. The family pastor to the family said, with the way the prophetess deprived the woman of seeking medical attention and waited for her to die at the church before informing the family member is questionable, and also seek for justice for the deceased. On coming here today again this morning, we find out that the, the banners of the church has been uh, has been pulled down and which we suspect that there should be uh, maybe is an act of from some of the members of the church who probably do not want uh, the face of uh, the prophet text to to show we just want justice for this uh, for this woman that uh, that died and uh, she will also serve as a deterrent to every other uh, persons who are in these practices. An indigenous of the community, Mr. Prince Efosa, who was angry and wanted to bring down the church building, also stated that this is the second time a similar incident is happening in the church, adding that the police should arrest the prophetess for questioning. This one way they happen, so this one way wrong, so we suppose destroy her first before I go to the police. So our police don't evolve now. So I move to find the woman as one thing here. Because if we call to another doctor, say maybe we want to pull her hand. So at this church, I think I make her two times, we put the other for here myself. Because the woman is waiting to keep people, keep people, keep people, not good. I'm going to find you, the police don't talk about this weather. BTV crew visited a church known as Home of Testimony, a.k.a. God in Action. It has remained deserted with the prophetess nowhere to be found. The crew also thereafter proceeded to the said prophetess house at number 8, Ekagwe of Iriri, Iyokogba, Benin City, which was also deserted. When contacted, the police public relations officer at those state command, S.P. Chidi Wampuzo, who spoke off camera, said he was yet to get signal from Iyokogba. Yekogba police station where the incident was reported by the family of the deceased pregnant woman. Here we are at the prophetess church. It, it's deserted and the family and the friends of this woman are seeking for justice. Praise Irabo reporting for BTV News.